Hello, hello. This is Adele from thesetemporarytents.com and today I want to start a new series of little videos, um, vlogs if you will, of just showing you some of the tools that we use uh, online to, that make our homeschool a little bit easier, make our lives a little bit easier. Um, most of these are free and I use them on a regular basis and I just want to feature these uh, tools and apps and websites for you uh, so that you can get an idea of how you can use these in your homeschool as well. And the first one as you can see here is Evernote. Um, it is a application that you can download on your smart devices. It is also a website that you can use um, it is basically like a mixture between a calendar, a notebook, a word processor, um, several different things that you can use it for, document holder, and I'm going to show you what we use it for. When you go to evernote.com up here at the top, uh, you will see this page if you've never signed up before, and you just click sign up now like that, and it will have you... Um, put an email address and a password and that is all you need to sign up. Uh, as you can see down here, um, it will upload to all of your apps. Um, if you have a smartphone, a tablet, an iPad, uh, whatever you have, an iPod, whatever you have uh, that you can download applications to, you can download the Evernote app and so when you are out on the town and you forgot your grocery list you can go on your phone and click Evernote and your grocery list will be there for you if you've if you've saved it on there or say um, for instance you're out running errands and your teenagers are home and they're supposed to be doing school um, you can check periodically throughout the day to see if they've um, checked anything or left any notes for you. You can up and you can uh, refresh the page so that you can see the new notes that have been left. And so it's just a really handy app that I use um, to help schedule and plan our homeschool, um, what I want the kids to do while I'm working. And so as you can see, it, it there is a free and a premium version and a business version. Um, I've never had to go f with the premium version yet. I've always used the free. And so um, over here is my account that I'm going to show you. First, as you can see, on the left hand side here are, you can have some shortcuts. Uh, so you can um, add a tag uh, like homeschool or you can add a notebook that you want to be easily accessed and put those up here. Over here is your notebooks. These are like categories of notes that you have. I've got notes for my blog. I've got personal notes. I've got homeschooling notes. And then I have, uh, this one was when we lived in Korea and I needed to have detailed directions and information about different places that we were going. Um, and then down here you can add a tag uh, which is is like a uh, you can tag different notes with a specific topic and then when you click that then you can find all the notes that are tagged with that. I don't really use the tags yet. Um, I haven't really needed to. As my notes grow I might need to but I haven't yet. Um, so here's I'm going to show you I'll show you the soul searching first. We want to take the tag off. Okay. Um, oh let me show you a kind of what this looks like on this this is what it looks like on the computer um, the app will look a little bit different it's a little bit more streamlined but it's pretty much the same idea you'll have your notes on one side and then you click on it and it'll take you to the specific note uh, so up here you just have your account settings um, where you can download the apps I will show that for you so you can see that it's pretty much available on everything. You can, uh, oh, that's different apps you can get. I'm sorry. But you can get your apps on Android. You can get the Evernote app on Android, Windows, iPad, iPhone, Mac, and 
um, like the Windows 8 that has the apps. Okay, so this is basically the layout here. My soul searching notebook. Um, say, you know, we wanted to go on a trip to the palace. I can click this to make. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to, this one right here. This one here will open this note in a new window. It'll just make it way easier for you to see everything. So here's the new note, the the note in a new window, I'm sorry. And basically you have the title of your note that you want to show up when you uh, in your list. And then this is basically like a a type in Word document basically. Uh, it has all your tools up here. You have your uh, fonts, you have your size of fonts, the color, bold, italic, underline. Um, there's more things that you can do. Uh, adding hot links is really easy. Uh, your alignment, you know, you can do different things with your alignment, your uh, numbered lists, um, a to do. This, I'll show you that in a second with the homeschool lists. This is a very handy uh, tab. Uh, insert table, um, insert horizontal rule, and then attach a file. Now, I have placed here, as you can see, I took screenshots of where we were going to go with Google Maps. You know, I looked at it with Google Maps, and then I took a screenshot of what I needed the exact zoom and everything that I needed and then I took a screenshot with my screenshot tool on my computer and then I highlighted the area that we were going to show up at and then I basically just downloaded this and then uploaded it as an attachment into my note here so that when I'm out in town I don't have to look up Google Maps and look up Gyeongbokgung Palace again I can simply go to this note and see my map that I need I don't have to use my GPS or anything and then you know I just added in the information that I found online so that way when I'm out and about I know there's no question about what I need to the information that I need it's all right there for me so that's a really handy way of using Evernote you can add images uh, you can even add reminders so this is your calendar. If you wanted, if there was something that you needed to be done by a certain time and you had notes and research on it, you can put a reminder to notify you about this note um, at a time and a date, you know, that you wanted to, to uh, receive a notification on your, all your devices. Um, and then, let's see. You can also share it here on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email, and you can also share the link with someone. So say somebody else was going to meet me at the palace, I can share that link with it, someone else right there. and Or I can email it to them so that they can also see the directions. So as it, as it gets used in our house for homeschooling, this is basically what we do. As you can see here, I have a list of notes um, going back way to way back to April. That is uh, each that are weeks. And as you can see, we don't do school every single week. Usually, if I'm got my own college classes or there's something going on with my blogging, I will make up a list of things, tasks that the kids can do. You know, they've already picked the topics and they've already picked the things that they want to do. And I just kind of organize it for them so that they have something to keep them busy during the times when I need to be working on my computer and I'm not available to help them. So back here, we'll look at one that's already been done and I will pop it out here You get so you can see. is homeschool for my daughter Raven who would be 13 and this one it's I just denoted it done because we've already done she's already done it it's finished and so you know I weighed up a list Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and they never have anything on Fridays because um, I Fridays are days that I do not work um, 
basically I just went through and I typed in the, you know, the topic that she was going to be doing and then what she needed to do. And then the, each individual task I broke down into, uh, to do boxes here. So basically if I wanted to add something else, I would go down here and I would say, um, read this book. And then I click on the bulleted list to make it kind of indented so that they know that it, these are the things they need to do under that, that heading. And then this little thing is a to-do box. And basically it is just a little box that you can say, uh, read chapters one through three. And then when they get to that task and they finished it, then they can click it and then click up here and it automatically saves. It'll say saved right up there if you saw that. Let me do it again. Click read chapter five. Click. Click up here and as you see it's updating right here and it says saved. So that way they know it, it's saved if they close it out. It, their information is going to get saved there. And as you can see down here you can also add in links. You can either copy and paste a link in um, like this. You know you, you control C or right click copy and then press control V or right click paste or you can e add something as a hot link um, highlight the word that you want to it to link to and then you click the link button create a link you and then you paste your link into there okay and then the link is just right there instead of it being a, a whole address it's linked with the word and so uh, I'm going to unlink that. Go down here, break the link, unlink. Okay, so that's basically what I use it for. Um, I can also uh, just add files into the thing if I want them to work on a specific file. Um, I haven't done that yet because most of what they do is online or is reading out of a book and they know where to find those books. Um, but if I had like a PDF file that I wanted them to work from, I could even just add it into this and they could have it right there to download from whatever device that they're working on. And the nice thing is, is all they have to know is your email address and your password and the, everyone can be on Evernote at the same time. So my oldest daughter can be working on her homeschool right here and my younger daughter can be working on her homeschool on another computer and they won't mess each other up unless they're working in the same document then it can get confusing. So that's why I make different documents for each of them, different notes, uh, one for Raven, one for Dinna. Um, I think that's pretty much the basics of how I use Evernote. Um, there's other things you can do, of course. Uh, like I said, you can make reminders. Um, you can uh, add tags. Uh, if I wanted to tag this with, you know, July. So that way later on, um, I can go through and see all the work that we did in July. And everything that's checked off, I can just basically copy it and paste it into another document that uh, shows what we've completed in a year. Um, so it's really, really simple, really easy. I'll show you the new, no, new note function. So if I'm up here at the top, I'm going to clear that out. Uh, oh, it's no, okay. I'm sorry. I, yeah, up here you can also search. Say I'm in the homeschool and I want to see, you know, where we where we worked on science. I can search for science and it will show me all the notes that have science in it. And I can go through and see, okay, science there, science there. That's not exactly science, but science there. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyways, we can just clear that out. This is what you would click to create a new note. 
um, you can simply just press new note and it will pop up as untitled you can then pop it out and then you can name it uh, blog and then start typing in your stuff and then as soon as you see that check mark saved you can close it out and um, it will it will it will update every once in a while um, if I go to all notes again I might have to refresh the page and that's what I tell my kids all the time if you don't see something refresh the page and then you might you'll it'll update all the information that's been put in through all the different apps and see it says vlog now and I can add that to I can simply click and drag that note into whatever I want it to go into um, into what tag I want it to go into um, I'm gonna click it into the trash because I don't really need it there we go and that I'm gonna click into the trash because I don't need it there we go and uh so that is basically yeah mark is done there we go I don't need that anymore okay so that is basically how we use Evernote in our homeschool there are tons of applications um, you can use it as a calendar you can use it as, to save you know book lists I have over here I have uh, uh, literature studies that I want to kind of look over and see if they're cool to do um, I've got just you know all kinds of applicate all kinds of uh, things that you can do with Evernote and so we love it and I love being able to have it on my phone so in in and be able to access it from everywhere so if I need it um, when we're at family's house for vacation and we want to look at something that we've done or we want to do school there they have it right there on on our tablets and everything so I hope that you got found this inform informational informational <laughs> and if you have any questions uh, please just uh, ask it on my blog at these temporary thank you